So somebody wants to tell you how they feel. So many things remind um, this person of you. This is someone who regrets lying to you. I remember every detail of that day. I am grateful for this spiritual lesson. So this is someone who is um, glad that they woke up to something. So maybe this person have um, learned some type of spiritual lesson behind whatever. They've learned some type of spiritual lesson and now they're in regret for something that they said to you, um, lied to you about. They're constantly thinking about you or remembering something that took place on a certain day. And it's like now they want to express something like they want to open up and tell you how they feel. This is someone who this person. Um, maybe this is someone that held back because they were remembering some type of day. This could have been a day that they were around you, a day that they talked to you or something like that. And they lied about something and it has them in regret. But they're constantly being reminded of you. And it's like they want to feel the however you made them feel in the past. They want to feel that way again. You have the Empress. And then you have the Ten of Wands. And then the Six of Swords popping out in the reverse. So it's like this person, they feel um, some type of pressure. They're overwhelmed. This person sees that you're someone that is very mature. You could be someone that's very intuitive. You could be someone that is um, spiritually awake, like you have spiritual gifts. And you're walking in this energy of manifestation abundance. You've evolved a lot. But this person does not want something to like, they don't want you to move forward. Or this person could have been in the energy of um, having to face something. The six of swords popping out in the reverse could be another person refusing to make certain changes that they need to make. But they've learned some type of spiritual lesson. And whatever this spiritual lesson is, they just did not expect to go through. It could have been like all of a sudden thrown at that person with the um, ten of wands. However they're feeling about you, they didn't expect to feel. It was just out of nowhere. You have the two of pentacles. And then you have the eight of pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who have been focusing on becoming a better person because they were refusing to make some type of change that they weren't paying attention to. Like it's like that person's life was all over the place with the two of pentacles being here. And now they're working, like working on their self more. You have the hair front. And then you have the devil. Wow. So this person could have been um, loyal to all the wrong people. Whoever these people are that they were loyal to, this could have been somebody that they were in some type of commitment with and they chose to, you know, not make the change that they needed to make because of some type of toxic attachment. So if this person was someone that was in a toxic energy operating out of their shadow self a lot, 
they were more comfortable in that energy. And it was preventing that person from making the changes that they need to make. But keeping their self committed to whoever this devil energy is with the hair font, it helped that person go through some type of spiritual lesson that was necessary. If this wasn't a relationship, this could have been a friendship, this could have been a family dynamic um, or something like that. You have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so they could have been accustomed to seeing, you know, different family members in this devil energy. So it was like normal for that person. These could be toxic relationships, toxic attachments. This could have definitely been like a belief system that was keeping that person from um, changing something that they needed to change. You have the page of wands. And then you have temperance. Now you could have reached out to this person to give them some type of hope or encouraging words. Or something like that with temperance and page of wands. But somebody definitely needed to realize their true potential in order to get grounded. Like not focus on whatever it is that they have been seeing in different people. Or situations that they're attached to that was keeping them feeling stuck. You have the hermit and then you have the nine of wands. This person could have ghosted you because they got very nervous. They could have also dealt with some type of abandonment issues that they had been hiding. Something that you did not know that they were going through or dealing with. And if this is a family dynamic, um, they're accustomed to doing this, like, you know, holding, holding back, not healing different things, feeling comfortable around people that are in the same energy, like dealing with abandonment issues. And they see you in this empress energy, the total opposite of, you know, the energy that they're in. This, this made this person run. This made this person get very guarded. This is someone that was definitely lying um, because they did not want you to see that they were dealing with something. Yeah, this is definitely someone that was in fear of opening up. You have the hangman and then the ten of swords. Whoever this person was keeping their self attached to, they did not know how toxic that person was. They didn't expect to get betrayed by somebody that they trusted. Now, they could have worked with this person as well, with the Eight of Pentacles being here. But this was definitely somebody that was close with the Ten of Swords. You have the Page of Cups. And then you have the Three of Pentacles. So if this person was feeling stuck in some type of situation, that is like over now. This person is admiring coming towards you to work with you or do something with you. Like this, this Three of Pentacles is like a collaboration. But this is someone that was, you know, going through some type of trauma. They also don't know how to express their self emotionally. You have the King of Cups. And then you have the Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is someone who definitely wants to speak their mind. It's like they want to tell you how they feel. You have the Queen of Swords.
the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, whoever this Queen of Swords is, this is someone who definitely have been trying to slow this person down. Now this could be, um, as I say, a family member, somebody that they were in a connection with, or this could be a friend. They're realizing this. They're realizing whoever this person is, is someone that's very angry. Um, they acted out of rage. This could be jealousy. Yeah, to have another person stuck with the Eight of Swords. It's like somebody felt like they would be able to, you know, betray a person with the Ten of Swords and the Hangman, have that person stuck to stop this person from coming towards you. So if this Three of Pentacles leads into the Ten of Pentacles, they felt like if that person collaborated with you, partnered up with you, did something with you, it would create a legacy. It would be long-term success. It would be something that is um, abundant. Longevity, long-lasting abundance. You have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, so somebody is jealous because of who you are. Like if you're someone that's single, you're independent. You work hard for whatever it is that you have on your own. You don't look for a handout. They were jealous of the energy that you're in. But they were also jealous because this person is someone that's in love with you. You have the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is someone who definitely knew in the past. They couldn't know that there's a reunion. Like there's some type of spiritual connection and this person needed to learn a spiritual lesson from whoever this person is. Now, this person does not like the, the fact that you're someone that is in this nine of pentacles energy. You could also be um, celibate. You know, you're single. You're very guarded or you're just mindful of what you give your time, your money, your energy to. You love yourself. You're someone that knows your self-worth. But whoever this energy is, they're very immature. It's like a lot is slowed down in this person's life because of the energy that they're in. So whatever they did to try to have another person trapped, they feel trapped. Because they felt like they were going to be able to control another person's path, their future. You have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, they somebody knew in the past that this person was in love with you. They knew that this person wanted to offer you love, but they could have knew that that person was someone who just did not know how to express their emotions. You have the Wheel of Fortune popping out in the reverse. And then the Three of Swords. So whoever this person is, it's like they're receiving a lot of karma. Not only the person that tried to slow this person down, but the person that held back. If they chose to stay in some type of commitment with that person or just stay attached to that person and trust that person, they were keeping their self stuck. But this slowed them down financially if this was about money with the Ten of Pentacles. That person could not have whatever it is that they were trying to slow that person down um, from. They ended up receiving a lot of karma, going through a lot of negative things. You got the Three of Swords being here. Like somebody is hurt because they received bad luck or karma for whatever they were doing. You have the King of Pentacles. And then you have the Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody definitely was hurt because another person rejected them. 
So they felt like they would be able to have control, like bring some type of um, bad energy or bad luck to a person. This could also be, if this person was not someone that they were in a relationship with, this could have been some somebody like a family member. This person is someone that um, they were just jealous. They didn't want that person to come towards you because they knew how this person felt about you. And um, they wanted this person to feel rejected. They felt like this would stop this person from feeling the way they felt about you. Like this person could have asked that person to say something to you about the way they feel about you. If they trusted this person to reach out to you, um, this person didn't. And it's like they made up something to have that person like all over the place confused. This person would feel rejected. And this would stop this person from feeling the way they felt about you, but at the same time, keep that person stuck. And that person would never change. This person would never make a transition. This person would never move forward. If they're finding out what this person did and they were still attached to that person not knowing, they're hurt. This is someone that they did not expect to um, get backstabbed by. This is someone who they did not expect to separate themselves from. This was somebody that was close. They could have grew up with this person. This could be a sibling. This could be a mother figure, a father figure. This could be some type of relative or a friend or something like that. You have the, um, the despair card. Somebody is definitely in deep regret. And it's the person that has these emotions for you. They feel like this is their karma for not being able to um, express the way they feel. But the only way they weren't able to express how they feel to you is because of these abandonment issues. This is what was keeping that person guarded. So these are things that they needed to face before coming towards you. Because there's some type of reunion that is supposed to happen, yeah, before they can get on the journey that they're supposed to be on. Yeah, this person is supposed to be coming back towards you because you and this person have a journey together. Now, it's like if you and this person are supposed to be working together on this journey with toil and labor, it's going to lead to this Ten of Pentacles energy. But somebody felt like they had the power to slow another person down or stop something before it started. And this was only out of rage and jealousy. Like that person don't like you because of the energy that you're in. You have family room. This is definitely a family member. And then you have expectation. Yeah, it's like somebody was trying to hold another person up because this person um, is like not only jealous, but bitter. This is someone that is not happy, so they didn't want that person to go off or move forward and be happy. And they had some type of toxic attachment with this family member. You have thief. So this person could have stole something. They definitely caused some type of deception to try to keep that person stuck, to try to get that person to change how they felt about you. You have main male. And then you have the lovers. You have community and then official person. So a lot of people are seeing something. It's like a lot of people know that this person is in love with you. 
if this is a past life connection, a lot of people are seeing this. Like there's a spiritual bond between you and this person. But there has been a lot of deception to try to keep that person stuck or keep that person away from you. Yeah, the main female. And then you have the main male and then the lovers. This is something that is destined to um, happen. You and that person reuniting. But one of these people, one of these family members, was someone that was trying to hold this person up. This is somebody that they're close to, like they grew up with this person. And this person could have been working with other people as well, like other family members uh, or something like that. They could have been working with the ex. Other people knew about this deception. If a lot of people are seeing why they caused this deception, now this person is in despair. Because they thought that they were going to like get away with it. So you have crossroads. Somebody is at an energy, you know, at a turning point. They don't know what to do. The plan was to keep this person indecisive, unsure, and they could erase this person's feelings for you. But it's like it did not work. The more and more that person tried to hold them up, the more and more this person realized they had to separate from whoever this family member is. You have proposal. So this is someone who wants to come towards you with a love offer. Yeah, because they've got enlightened. This is someone who had to go through a spiritual awakening and realize that they have been um, being taught a spiritual lesson. Yeah, somebody is definitely paying attention to a lot of signs and synchronicities. They're receiving messages from the universe now that they're enlightened. And whoever this other person is, they're stuck in guilt. They're in regret. Yeah, because they thought this is someone who did not expect everything to fall apart. They're trying to act as if they're surprised, they're shocked. Now that that person is enlightened. Because they were definitely trying to keep that person away. And they came in talking fast to that person, quick to that person, to get that person to avoid you and be guarded. But it was out of jealousy. They just didn't expect for this person to find out. You have divine timing. This is someone who could have definitely knew that something was supposed to happen at a certain time. And this is why they were trying to hold that person up. They didn't expect for this person to get woke. They didn't expect for this person to um, guard their self from them, isolate their self from them. You have legal matters and then you have grass is greener. Yeah, and if they were in a relationship, they chose to be single. And it's like once they separated their self from an ex or somebody that they were attached to in the past, this is when they started getting enlightened. They could have went through some type of legal situation that they were trying to get balanced out and they like had to stay guarded. But this helped this person to... Um, Learn the lessons that they needed to learn. Face the things that they needed to face and realize that they deserve better. Then whoever the person is that they've separated their self from. Yeah, they definitely broke up with someone. So whoever the person is that was trying to keep them away from you, they could have knew the person that they broke up with. 
they didn't expect this person to isolate themselves from whoever this ex is. Their main focus was keeping this person away from you. Because if this ex was a toxic attachment, just like whoever this family member is, of course they were going to want that person to stay attached to them, not move forward, not make any changes. Because they were in the same energy. But something is over. Like the separation did not happen how they wanted it to. And they're in regret. Because once they separated themselves from whoever this person is, they got enlightened about the things that they wanted to stay hidden. You have home. This is someone who is definitely like comfortable around you. They feel safe. Then you have moving on where you have new love. Yeah, they feel comfortable around you. This person feels at home with you. And then you have soulmate. So there's definitely a soul connection between you and this person. There's already a bond there. Somebody felt like they had the power to break that bond. They could keep that by keeping that person away from you physically. But somebody ended up going through a lot of bad luck. Yeah, this could be your twin. So whatever energy that you were in, you're very in tune. You're very enlightened. You're someone that's in this empress energy. You operate in the energy of high vibrational light energy. This person got guarded because they weren't in, the, in that energy. They had too many toxic attachments and they could have been in a toxic energy. So they ghosted you. They held back because this person needed to um, isolate their self. Divide their self from whatever these toxic attachments were because it was preventing that person from getting on the right path. It was preventing that person from getting um starting this journey that they're supposed to be on. And it's like they weren't walking into their will of fortune energy, doing things that they were supposed to do to be able to gain whatever it is that they're destined to have. Yeah, it's like you and this person have shared um, many lifetimes together. So this is why that spiritual bond is here. This person found out the truth and they were hurt. Like finding out the truth crushed that person. Just being near you is intoxicating. This is someone who definitely does not react when people mention you. So if different people are, or if that person is still trying to reassure their self that they have some type of control over this person and they, you know, was able to control the way that person feel about you, they know that that person is still in love with you. They know that they could not change however that person felt about you. But this person is not talking to them about their emotions. It's like they're more guarded now. If they were more open in the past towards that person. This is someone they realized was definitely trying to sabotage a connection before they came towards you. You have mother healing. So this person definitely went through some type of childhood trauma. They were dealing with abandonment issues. This person had feelings towards their mother that they needed to heal in order to be able to manifest something more quickly. This person needed to build up the confidence to forgive. Whatever feelings that they had towards this mother, 
because they were wounded. This is someone who need to practice who needed to practice self-love. You have self-employment. So with this empress being here, you could definitely be someone that's an entrepreneur. You could have your own business or something like that. It's like you're building a future for yourself. And somebody is realizing another person was trying to hold them back from building this Ten of Pentacles. But you could be doing this by yourself. And this is why this person is wanting to come towards you and get on this journey with you. You have simplify your life. Yeah, but somebody needed to eliminate clutter. Somebody needed to balance out their life in order to balance out the flow of um, things that they needed to focus on. These um, messages that they were receiving from the universe that they weren't paying attention to before they got enlightened. It's like somebody was happy when this person was focusing on all the wrong things, but this person taking positive actions to change and focusing on things that they need to focus on is what triggered whoever this family member is. But they wanted to keep everything the same. Yeah, elevation is here. Somebody have definitely freed their self because they feel like that's the only way that they're going to be able to elevate. This is someone that is trusting in the universe now that they've um, got enlightened. This person directs their thoughts in a totally different way. So if people were able to get inside that person's head in the past and get them to do things that um, they just weren't sure of or um, uncertain about, they're, they're, they're in an energy of being more strong, like having a lot of inner strength. Where they don't have to act off of what people want. This is someone that is using their spiritual strengths. And the knowledge that they have um, received or gained get enli getting enlightened. And they've risen above all doubt. Whatever doubts that they had about this connection in the past, they're no longer doubting it. Because they've went through the spiritual lesson that they needed to go through. They've eliminated the things that they needed to eliminate. Now it's like that person is moving forward. There's definitely going to be um, some type of communication. You could run into this person or they're going to reach out to you or something like that. But this is a reunion that um, whoever this person is that acted out of rage and jealousy, they could not control.